So hey everyone, I finally finished it. My very own mini paperback album. It's been like what, eight months since I started scrapping more or less. And this is like my first creation that I made for myself. I know, it's unbelievable, right? I mean, for a YouTube scrapper who has own channel and stuff. But um, yeah, that's why I was just completely excited once I got this out because I mean it took almost like forever to get this done I kept starting and stopping and starting again because of you know just um, just because of a very busy schedule with um, you know work and stuff but I think but I still managed to find time to scrap and I made some cards and I made some videos but I just had no time to um, edit and upload it so but I'll try to catch up on that sometime soon <laughs> um, but I think this is scrapper's life. Despite how hectic your schedule is, you will always find time to scrap. Yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, I mean, it is just like when you're on a buffet table and you're gorging and stuffing yourself for two hours straight. And then you say to yourself, you know, I can't possibly fit in another thing in my stomach. And then what do you do? You head right straight towards the dessert line because there's always room for dessert. So this is supposed to be started out as a gate for mini album and uh, when what I did was I stuck four paper bags for the right side and four paper bags for the left side um, and so there's four here stuck onto one another, four here stuck to one another and then it alternately opens as you know like a gate full and then when I put I cover my pattern paper and my embellish on it and then when I started opening it and because you're not just seeing one page at a time not seeing two pages at a time but you're seeing like three pages at a time and i just thought whoa i think i just overdid it <laughs> uh, over the top with just too many colors and and stuff and mess and muss and all of that and i was like oh man what am i gonna do with you now and i tried as i was flipping through the pages and you know thinking how i could repair my album or salvage my album and i was thinking hey it's not half bad you know if i just made it as a conventional book instead so that's what i went for so this is my cover which i have a jewelry closure to it and this was the idea of my cover even when i did the get full album so i decided to so the only thing that uh, stayed the same from the starting of my inspiration is the cover um and then i also tape it with velcro because it's already so thick and like only 2% of my pictures are inside so I would think it will get fatter once I'm done so this album is uh, made to house our pre-wedding pictures so one fine day uh, my hubby who's my fiance at that time and I went out with a very close friend of ours uh, who's a professional photographer and he was so kind enough to go out with us to snap some pictures and because both of us are really not camera people I mean two years of dating and no pictures to show for it yeah so what we did was we went out and I think our friend was kind enough to take like I don't know a thousand pictures I think maybe uh, um, of us um, and um, so it's basically basically we went to different locations we had different um, sets of clothes and then it basically looked like the all the pictures were taken uh, in a whole span of time when it actually all took just one fine day so this was like one of the ways I thought uh, to hang my charm so my closure so it's not gonna go anywhere and then so okay like I was saying we had like a thousand pictures um, and before I started scrapbooking I printed some of the pictures it's very simple I printed some of the pictures in um, four four and a half inch times six inch so that's why the photo mats are really big inside the paperback album and that's why I really like paperbacks uh, but the rest of the other uh, other thousand of pictures uh, I printed it as three times four uh, on the printer so I can fit in you know all these small spaces here uh, that I made so very simple uh, and 
then oops the tag here so um, I made my tags pretty simple they are basically all open up tags so I can fit more and more pictures and this is probably just one tag that I completed and you know it's just so funny when you're in love <laughs> even raindrops seem so romantic so um, yeah so lots of space for pictures and journaling I have to warn you that there are, I made really intentionally a lot of tags and pockets and this is like a journaling a stamp that I stamp to use as a journaling spot and then another stamp which I use to make a pocket here and I stuck it on very simple and I did some fussy cutting um, and I did a lot of fussy cutting in this album just to you know mix as well I stamped some flowers which you know how you do with like punched out flowers so I did it with stamped flowers as well and then just um, layer it as you like so the theme I was going for is the garden theme um, because a lot of our pictures are very outdoorsy you know, and just goofing around in the garden uh, or in the parks and um, and fortunately there was not many strangers there to look at us so when I tried rehearsing this video I tried to squeeze and talk as fast as I could um, so I could squeeze the entire album in one video but unfortunately I couldn't here I white emboss it and here I paint it and um, so it's going to be a two-parter this album um, but if you check out the, the second part, I would at the end also show you the um, stems that I use for this album as well. So here are the photo mats. Again, very plain. So I can embellish it once I uh, embellish it according to my pictures. So here's the photo wallet. And then for the next one here. Uh, okay, wow, this album is like really heavy. Okay, for the next one here, another tag, uh, another tag, it's very simple, Woo! another tag opens up, and then another tag, and it opens up as well, again, plain, 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 and then here's a photo mat, so this is only photo mat that is not like open this way, I tried something different, I stamp an image here, uh, white emboss it and then half of it I glimmer glam it because I just got my glimmer glam colors and the other half of it I glimmer mist and the glimmer mist doesn't get the glimmer glam because the glam is resistant if you didn't already <laughs> know that so I don't know if you can just see the difference between the glam and uh, and the mist and then here is punched out flowers which I just uh, just painted the sides uh, to look a bit a little bit more real and then here is more punched out flowers here and I put a half back pearl and then it opens up this way and it opens up this way and this here is a journaling, journaling spot and then let's see and there's a tag here oops and I use a lot of my Martha Stewart punches as well um, to do like pockets um, and to house more ah to house more pictures I feel so clumsy and then this is like a journaling spot here okay uh, what's next okay here's another journaling stem that I did out from the birdcage here and pop it back in is there any no there's no pocket here um, photo mat so some of the pages I didn't uh, make a photo mat because uh, I want to do the photo mats according to my according to my pictures and I think that's the fun part about making your own album right uh, you get to embellish it the way you like and according to theme of your pictures and here I did like the most I did four sim most simplest pockets in the world and I just glue it down the middle and then basically that's how you get the pop-up thing and then you have a charm and some beading and then it's like a hanging frame here and of course I had to like you know punched it the wrong way at first but I figured like hey I'm just gonna put cover it with pictures anyway so thank you. 